Welcome. Today we're talking with Kevin Filan, Senior Vice President Marketing at Open Lending. Kevin, welcome and thank you for joining us at today's Banker Digest. Hi, Larry. Great to be with you this morning. Great. Well, thank you. So, Kevin, I understand that Open Lending recently completed a benchmarking survey. What were the key findings? Larry, we, we uh, put out a lender enablement bank benchmark survey. We went out and spoke to uh, about 100 lenders in the automotive space. Uh, we're trying to find specific challenges that are facing uh, automotive lenders today. A couple of key findings. One, that financial institutions, while they're prioritizing FICO scores and income, income and employment history for their decisioning on auto loans, they've been overlooking the value of alternative data sources. So alternative credit data is only being used in about one in three automotive lenders today. It's concerning that financial institutions are placing too high a value on just FICO at the exclusion of more thorough analysis. Um, and there's two big risks there. You're either completely missing consumers who based purely on a lower FICO score are actually credit worthy, where you might also be generating better yield and more banking services from that consumer, or two, you're taking on undue risk and extending credit to a borrower and not pricing it appropriately for that risk. So the financial institutions that are using what we termed as lending enablement solutions, they're seeing dramatically better success at hitting their ROA and limiting delinquency. So 95% of those that used an LES hit their ROA targets last year versus just three quarters of those that didn't use an LES. Second uh, data point was that while 12% of LES users were seeing rises in delinquencies. Half of non-users, almost 5x the difference, were seeing a rise in delinquencies. Uh, if you think about decisioning speed, uh, slow decisioning speed is holding lenders back. They were telling us that in a survey as well. 21% uh, listed slow decisioning speed as their top complaint, their top focus area uh, going into, the, into this year. And the consequence here isn't just that creditworthy individuals aren't getting a fair chance, at securing a loan is that auto lenders are missing out on significant opportunities because they're just too slow to respond, whether it's on the indirect or direct side. Institutions, they want more transparency, more AI-driven analytics from their lending enablement providers. And when we asked uh, the automated lend lending platform, like what's the single greatest area of improvement that you want your platform to implement, the answers on the open-ending questions were greater transparency, Increase use of AI, better security. Great. Uh, thank, thank you. Uh, so um, could you briefly explain the features of a lending enablement uh, platform, LES platform? Sure. At a high level, an LES is defined as a digital platform that uses combination of sophisticated analytics, more advanced cases. It uses machine learning and AI to evaluate a whole host of non-traditional variables and it provides that lender with a more holistic view of the credit application. And it does it quickly and automates it. Uh, so in LES, it offers modernized tools for the banks, credit unions, OEM captives, refi companies to book more loans with less risk. So think of it this way, it's the right loan, the right way in real time. Uh, and so the LES features advanced risk analytics. Uh, so with the access to a whole range of federated data, alternative credit data, mm -hmm. the lender can identify qualified borrowers in the near prime credit segment and, and securely approve more loans in their existing application stream. They're able to do risk-based pricing. So auto lenders can generate higher net yields with pricing tools that can be customized to their institution's unique cost of funds, origination, and servicing costs. So it frees up their underwriting team. Uh, and that automated decisioning quick loan decisions. They're gonna help lenders reach more borrowers, build stronger relationships within the dealer community. And then in our case, we talk about default insurance. So it's a true end-to-end -end LES. It's gonna offer high quality loan default insurance from A-rated carriers. Open Lending is the only one on the market with that ability to absorb more than 85% of expected deficiency balances. Great, uh, thank you, Kevin. So since we're discussing auto lending, how important is auto ownership? Well, Larry, our, our last uh, research that we had gone to the market with prior to the, the benchmark survey was on vehicle accessibility. And, and we had looked at this concept of what's the goal of the consumer uh, and how to help them better understand public sentiment around car ownership while exploring how this issue relates to career development, financial stability, keys of making the American dream come true, if it were. 
So what we found is that car ownership still a primary factor in Americans' income opportunities. 64% of non-car owners say that they feel their earning potential would increase with access to a car. And it's more than just a gut feeling. 55% of non-car owners have had to turn down a better job or a promotion opportunity simply because they didn't have a vehicle of their own. Uncertainties about the lending process is part of what is holding those non-car owners back. 35% said that they view the lending process as a bit of a mystery. Uh, and it, it, quite honestly, it, it frightens them. 83% said that they would return to a lender for other purposes if they had a positive auto lending experience. And that signals a clear opportunity for lenders to leverage an LES as a way to engage that underserved consumer. Great, great. Thank you. Well, many opportunities, as you say. But how can a bank balance between serving its customers with auto lending and managing the risks of possible write-offs? I think it's really all about having the right solutions and the right team and the right partners in place. And so with alternative and federated data, being able to use more than just the institution's data, lenders can assess a borrower's potential at a much deeper level in real time. And this helps the lender not only make the better informed decision, but also price structure, make the decision on the loan more appropriately and predict the loan performance much more accurately. Default insurance is also a helpful tool here. So at lenders, the lender's protection solution at Open Lending, it comes with that built-in default insurance, as I mentioned, uh, designed to absorb 85% of the expected deficiency balance. And losses on individual loans can come in as low as $0 uh, given the current market. Ultimately, banks and credit unions need to think long-term about the benefits of serving the underserved. And those that are not quite prime yet, but looking at industry data, data from the CFPB even this year, indicating that uh, close to half of those consumers are going to move up to prime and super prime within 12 months of applying for a loan. So if you're the first to engage with a borrower who's likely to be excluded from those lending opportunities, only based on FICO score, and that's what two thirds of lenders were doing, there's a real opportunity here for many of those that are in this audience to earn the trust and build a long-term relationship with an up-and-coming emerging prime uh, borrower. Great. Uh, thank you, Kevin, for spending time with today's Banker Digest and helping us better understand how banks can improve their customers' access to auto loans while balancing the associated risks and create many opportunities for themselves, as well as future opportunities with these new customers. So thank you, Kevin. Larry, really appreciate the time this morning and uh, happy to follow up with uh, anyone in the audience who, who might have questions. Uh, they can feel free to reach out and you'll provide some information there. Great, great. In closing, thank you for joining today's Banker Digest. If you have additional questions for Kevin, as he said, please see the link in his bio.